Hello, everybody. Oh my god, my camera is so far to the right. Had a straight fire. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. I'm not gonna lie, that hat took me by surprise. What's surprising about me wearing a frog bucket hat? I, it feels very on brand. All right, now it is time for the frog. I got two plates and the F12 hot slop PCB. So those are the feet. I also got two types of tadpoles. So those are like the pin style gaskets. I don't know exactly what Gion calls them, but that's what I'm gonna call them until corrected. So I got the two different um, harnesses. PCB and two plates. And then we have the actual frog. It did come much more securely wrapped than that. Um, I unboxed it on TikTok, which is why it is all like unwrapped and like free. So I've already taken a look at this. So if you're like, oh my God, that's not very much packaging. No, it was plenty of packaging. I just, I've already opened it. Here we go. So it has two brass weights, uh, the top and the bottom. And of course the gaskets that we're gonna be putting in. I don't think there's standoffs for this. Um, so we're just gonna have to be real careful about putting this together and you're gonna have to pull this out every time you want to put in new switches Otherwise your PCB is gonna fall. So just be aware of that If you do get the hot swap version, where did my switches go? <laughs> right, just gonna get started same as always in the corners Fingers crossed we don't have to pull out the shims. I'm a little concerned because this plate is so bendy. Definitely gotta be careful to like support this when you're popping in switches, especially if they're a bit tight on this one because otherwise you can bend stuff that shouldn't be bent and it will definitely fuck up the sound of your board. So just like, be careful. The switches look cool, don't they? So these are the collaboration between mechs on deck and cannon keys. Uh, these are the Osiris switches named after his puppy. It's supposed to be like a really tactile, tactile. I think they compared them to like kale uh, dark jades, except for they should be nicer in every way. <laughs> they just sound better and feel better as far as like smoothness goes, so. I think it's interesting to what streamers personally put in their builds. I personally put in my build whatever thing I have to review when I truly get to choose what goes in my board. It's just lavenders or pinocos <laughs> with do rock stabs filmed. Sometimes I'll pack this if I'm feeling spicy. I'll have a... Uh... Lavenders or Pinocos. How original. And with two rock stabs. Staring today, aren't we? Do you recommend that you hold down the hot swap sockets when putting in switches? Yes, I do. I'm not doing that because I'm very carefully checking to make sure that there's no bent uh, pins. I usually try to be a good example, but I'm too lazy sometimes, like today. Judging from the title and hat, I'm gonna guess this is the Gion Works Frog TKL. Oh my goodness, what tipped you off? Which hardness of tadpole should we use, chat? The light blue or the teal? Soft, hard, use softer. I forget which is which. So we're gonna do colors. Switch is sounding deep, depends mostly on the keyboard, not the switch. Incorrect-ish. There is a huge misunderstanding that switches are the main contributor to switch sound. They are a main contributor, but they're not what makes your switch sound the way it is on its own. Really, it's kind of like a balance between about 10 things, <laughs> maybe more. There's like, there's the mounting style, there's the plate material, there's the plate style, uh, including uh, and not excluding mounting points and where those are positioned, flex cuts, and how many layouts are offered on your plate. Uh, there's also, you know, your actual board, the style of the board, how many pieces the board has, how much room there is under the PCB, whether or not it has a weight, what shape the weight is, how many weights it has, where the weight is positioned, how much brass there is, what material the weight is, what material your keyboard is, you know, that's not even like most of it. So like, there's, there's just a million things that go into sound and so one thing versus, you know, the 10 other things, of all the 10 other things, are moving you more towards a higher pitched board, but your switches maybe are on the deeper end of pitch, it's still gonna turn out to be a high pitched board. Does that make sense? Springs, yeah, springs, absolutely. Um, springs mostly, I would say, in my opinion, springs mostly just affect the upstroke sound rather than the bottoming out sound. But obviously, you know, if you're not compensating for a spring weight, you're, used to, you're, you're more used to a lighter spring weight, you're gonna bottom out harder than if you were using a heavier spring weight. It just all depends on you as well. How do I put these in? Is there a trick to it? Cause this kind of looks like a pain in the ass. You put them on the plate, on the plate? So like that, really? Or is it the other way around? Okay. 
Thank you. Wait, so these are the tadpoles. What do they do? This, this is just essentially like a different way of doing a silicone gasket mount. That's it. It's just a different way of doing a silicone gasket mount. So I will say this is a really easy build to the point where I'm having to chug coffee to stay awake. <laughs> Loving the color combination. I'm proud. Like the color coordination worked out actually. Like I'm, I'm happy with this. KBD 8X or frog? Frog, what question is that? The 8X is fine. It's honestly like pretty nice, but the frog is pretty, it's a, it's an insane deal, honestly. I don't think there's anybody else that I know of who can pull this off and not go majorly in the hole. Frog. KBD 8X isn't bad though. It is not bad. Um, In fact, before the frog came out, it was probably one of my more recommended if you like insisted on, you know, you wanted a budget entry level TKL that was regularly in stock. But the frog, in my opinion, is better. Frog group buy is over. So frog is not a group buy. Frog is a monthly in stock drop. So it will be coming back in a month. You will have another chance to get a frog. Absolutely. But you cannot currently purchase one. All right. So here we go. This is a frog TKL with the softer tadpoles. Side note. I don't really know why I got the harder ones. Um, I'm going to be frank with you. This is not enough flex for me. I don't know how well you can see, but... There is hardly any, and I am a very soft typist. So really, this is going to be like stiff city for me. I probably should have built it with the FR4. I really like aluminum in general. That's kind of on me, but uh, that's okay. These are tactile, so having not much flex is probably better anyway. All right, here we go. So this is a Frog TKL with the softer tadpoles, um, the aluminum plate, and Anubis switches. Okay, I thought I was gonna like wait to fix the spacebar off stream, but I cannot. I I'm gonna fix it right now. <laughs> she do be a bit ratly though. Besides that, <laughs> there you go. This has to be one of my favorite looking boards in a while. I didn't show you guys the bottom. I'm so sorry. You guys asked too. Here we go. She's kind of pretty. I love the font, which is not a phrase I ever say. So props to Gion. Love the font that they used for the frog. Very excellent. Looks great. The frog side profile is truly OP. Do you guys want to see it? It's a little, it's a little linny. I like this right here. Yummy. What up, mother froggers? My thoughts? I really like it. I don't know what switches are in it though. The Anubis ones from, uh, the Anubis tactiles from Cannon Keys. I really like them. It, feel, it feels really solid. It sounds good too. It's like nice and deep, you know? 
Is it? Is it? Well, like I don't I'm, think it's deep at all. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm smacking on it, like I, I, I would say clacky is probably the uh, the word I would use. Oh God, he's typing on it again. I guess it's not super deep. No, it's not very deep at all. It's very satisfying though. It feels solid. It's got two brass weights in there. It's not fucking moving. Look at it. <laughs> Great for gamers who are like have so much muscle memory that they have to be in the exact spot every time. It's really good for gamers. Well, you would know, Mister Semi Pro Top Five Hundred Overwatch. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, if I tried this board at a meetup ooh, and I wasn't a streamer who reviewed stuff, um, so I wasn't thinking at this from a content perspective. And I was just like, would I personally, for my preferences, buy this keyboard? I don't think so. I don't think I would. Here's the deal. It is a very, very, very good deal. It is solid. It sounds great for the price. Um, it's a TKL. However, I feel like it just doesn't fit my personal preferences. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, I prefer a deeper sounding board. I prefer uh, something with way more flex. I prefer um, not a TKL. TKLs are not my favorite. Um, but this is an objectively really, really, really good board. Would I recommend somebody else buy it? Absolutely. Absolutely I would. If they were into TKLs, if they were looking for a good board for the budget, if they wanted something interesting or slightly new, absolutely. It's a keyboard. -y. Can you let us know in Discord when you try the FR4 Play? I was thinking we could try the FR4 Play together because I want to I want to figure out if this is just a play issue because you guys have to remember I'm trying this in a configuration that I would like it the least. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm trying this with the antithesis of my preference. We are doing tactiles in an aluminum plate on a TKL. <laughs> I did not expect to love this in the configuration that we're in. I just wanted to see, like, you know, if a board is really, really good, it'll make the things that I hate be things that I love. So I just wanted to see if this was fucking magic. Turns out it's not. But yeah, no, I, I will continue to recommend this, and I know I can probably make this fit my preference. Uh, at least as close as a TKO can. <laughs> I don't really like TKOs, but... Alright, I think that's all I have. Alright, bye!